Uh, next topic is Spring Expression Language, SPEL. So what is SPEL? Uh, it's just, you know, it's the expression language, uh, which is similar to uh, United Expression Language from JSP 2.1, but it has some, some additional features. Uh, for example, it has a string templating functionality, and also you can even invoke method invocation inside. Okay? Uh, so it's a more powerful expression language that supports querying and manipulating an object graph at one time. So the notation is a pound sign. Okay? So uh, uh, you can use Spring Expression either in XML configuration file or annotation-based configuration file. So you know we are using annotation-based configuration in our code camp, uh, but you can use an XML configuration file as well. So again, in both cases, you can use this SPEL syntax with a pound sign. So let's see an example. So we have an author class, and uh, so you know this is a case that we are using value inside the value. We can use a Spring expression language. So instead of hard coding, you know, you know, previous example, uh, we hard coded the value, right? Uh, but usually that's not really desirable. We'd like to actually have those values coming from. Uh, dynamically from some kind of a class, in this case, book bean. So here I am using Spring Expression Language, pound sign and book bean, and book bean object is going to be used to set this book value. Okay. So depending on business logic, depending time of the day, depending on your mood or whatever, the contents, meaning the values of book bean properties could be set differently, and that object will be actually assigned to this guy. Uh, here we can uh, get the property of title as well. So book bean dot title is actually calling get title method to get the property value. Okay, uh, you can actually invoke method of that bean. So here uh, the uh, you know book info is saying says and it's calling get some info method and then the return value will be used to set it. Again, this is really dynamic. So inside get some info method, you know, you can perform whatever business logic of your choice and based on the result of it, different value could be set. Okay, so this is uh, how SPL could be used. Uh, this is another example. So you can act, you can access the properties file. In this case, message source properties file. So here I can call get message, and this is in fact the code message code in the properties file. And uh, so you know I'm trying to get the German version of welcome title. Uh, this is the same thing with admin email, and I can actually access system properties directly. So I can access like a user country property of system properties and that could be used to default country so depending on who's using this code you know they might actually have a different value set to default country right okay so it's a lot more flexible than the unified expression language okay so that is exercise four so let's see exercise four so these are pretty much uh, what I showed you so let's run the SPL01 SPL02 so let's run this guy Okay, so it's displaying sanction. Hello, life is good. Zhang says code with passion. So if you take a look at the code, that is the first one. And here we are. Uh, yeah, so we have get author. Yeah, so book title, blah, blah, blah. And this is a book uh, class. And uh, we assign uh, book name, book bean, as a name of this component. Okay. And this is author. So author will actually use this book bean to set this book object. This is the book title, and this is called get some information. Okay, yeah. So this is exactly the same code that I showed you. So in this case, uh, get some information. So uh, let's see. In our case, if I want to change uh, models, so get some information, and uh, let me see if I F three works. 
yeah that doesn't work so I have to actually go controller here oh, I put pin here I put pin get some information uh, yeah so this is kind of you know sending code with passion you can certainly add for example new date object or something like that right then in that case it will uh, it will uh, have a different date depending on uh, the uh, the current time and date okay so let's actually run this guy and uh, run it again run as java application okay so let's display and uh, refresh the page I can go here so you can see now the date information is being displayed as well okay uh, let's take a look at the uh, the next example SP02 Okay, so it's displaying welcome page, welcome message from, in German, and this is the email, uh, and then this is the country. So let's take a look at the code here. So we get the uh, welcome title in German. Uh, you know, you might want to change this guy to uh, Spanish and see whether it's displaying the correct uh, the uh, version. And here we are sending, uh, this is a user country uh, from system properties. In my case, it's US. Okay. All right, so that is that. Yeah, so uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to ask you, to, I'm going to actually ask you guys to try different uh, uh, code as well as a different language for this exercise. So I'll give you 10 minutes to do exercise three and four. Okay.